Okay, just doing a quick lesson learn video about installing a Chins 48 volt lithium ion battery into a club car precedent. So, a few frustrations I ran into just to make your life a little bit easier. So, in this guy right here, the wires exit on this side. So, it's really hard to Put the battery on this end because you run into a whole lot of clearance issues so i put it over here i ran into a different guy on uh, youtube said that the negative that used to come out of here wouldn't reach to here so yeah that's 100 true i did a dry fit it wouldn't work so what i did and once you rip yours apart you can see what i'm talking about you pull this screw you pull that panel up this is kind of hillbilly, but it worked really good. I carefully crushed this uh, eyelet here to make it fit through this hole. Now, you can cut it off and uh, put another uh, eye on there, that's fine, but um, I, I found it just as easy just to uh, carefully, carefully crush it. I uh, <laughs> it was kind of hillbilly. I took a uh, set of vice grips and a screwdriver, crushed it over that, uh, made it kind of hole shaped Went through that hole cool. So uh, Afterwards I drilled about a half inch hole right here right next to the run toe switch. I put the crushed end through there uh, Got a piece of wood and a little hammer and banged it out flat and here we are. Okay, so That's your biggest hurdle right there. That took the most thinking the most figuring out uh, So after I get everything all Ready to hook up, I hook up the negative, uh, sorry, I hooked up the positive. I go to hook up the negative and I get giant sparks and I'm actually, I I'm creating welding. <laughs> Not so good, brand new battery. Um, don't wanna break anything yet. That'll happen pretty soon. So uh, I went into the app and I figured out that there's a discharge off switch. I, yep, no idea, brand new to this, no clue press the discharge off switch it doesn't discharge the battery anymore that, right that makes sense now that you think about it uh hook that up no sparks press discharge on good to go so flip the run toe switch back on uh turn the disc uh, well turn discharge switch back on you have power check it with multimeter run toe back on thing runs like a champ so next thing i'm about to tackle is this guy right here uh, getting the onboard charging system that's that should be pretty self-explanatory just run a couple wires uh, to this I think this is like oh 10 gauge maybe I can't remember it's uh, just a little bit of glue. you'll figure it out put a couple eyelets on there and hook it right up so oh one last thing so running the onboard charger I've got that guy right there. Okay, so I bought, oh, where's it at? Put it aside here. Bought that NOCO guy. It's a uh, AC four port plug, GCP1. Okay, so there was uh, a whole bunch of reviews, guys putting it on their Humvees and other, other uh, save the world vehicles. Not a lot of golf cart stuff. I, I found one guy that said, yeah, I put it on a precedent and it fit great. Well, it doesn't fit great, but it does fit. So what I had to do, it's kind of hard to see. I, I took a uh, grinder and I ground off the side here and the side here. Then I put the screws in. I put it at kind of an angle. So they, uh, they caught the plastic. Uh, it's... It wasn't fun, it was a little bit scary, but it definitely works. It's, it's not very difficult. So yeah, that's the uh, castle I just had. I just took this for a quick ride. It, uh, it does run and drive now, it's fantastic. Uh, that was the headaches I had. Um, so I think about the only next headache I, I've got going is how to strap this thing down. Shouldn't be tough. Hooking that up, shouldn't be tough. I got all the hard part done. Like I said, the negative coming out of this guy 
the um, the 110 outlet, the, the no-co thing, and uh, turning off the discharge. That was the, those were the things that were my uh, uh, caused a lot of googling and way too much thinking. They're super simple once you know how to do it. So oh, I babbled on for over five minutes. Uh, hopefully this helps someone. Take care.